Hi guys, welcome to this sixth video. Today we're gonna make the screws, and in the in the, in the second part of this video, we're gonna make the wheel caps. So let's go with the screw. So first sketch is gonna be on, let's say, a right plane, and draw something like this. I hope I'm not gonna sneeze, but my nose is like on the edge. Dimension here, 60, angle between 59, here we have 27.5 by 2, and here we have 17.5 by 2. Now the screw, um, this length is not really that much important, you can uh, determine it by yourself, you'll see later. I think I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> and here we can make 15 for example. Let's make origin and this line midpoints. I just hope I'm not gonna sneeze, but it's so hard. Okay, exit the sketch, do revolve on this line. Let's save this. Screw one safe. Another sketch on right plane. This time we need to cut something out. Let's make something like like this. So we go from this edge till this point 175 angle between. These two is 30 degrees. And uh, yeah, we're gonna make this <laughs> Let's actually delete this, this dimension and make this line and the origin coincident. So sorry about my sneezing. Exit the sketch and do revolved cuts around this line okay so we go with the front plane sketch and we draw this six uh, polygon <laughs> I can't believe this okay let's draw it uh, something like this this diameter is gonna be from this edge 4 make one line vertical so we go like this extracted boss base sketch plane offset by 10 12 13 14 15 15 okay and this length here let's say 15 20 25 it's all uh, it's all on you what you want if you want this to be taller or smaller 22.5 for example you'll see why I'm leaving that dimension to you when we put it all in assembly now we need I think a top plane sketch we're gonna shave this one so we need a triangle like this It's gonna be 30 degrees and make this 25. We're gonna convert this edge. Exit the sketch and let's make revolt cut. Of course, this is gonna be this is gonna be contour and this is gonna be axis. Make sure that thin feature is not selected. And that's it. Now what we also need is, let's see, the sketch on top plane for example, and we need uh, two lines like this, make sure this one is crossing, is coincident with this one, and we need curve from point to point. So sorry about my nose. So uh, horizontal, this one is vertical. 
we have here 6.75, 1.5 here. This handle is 6.5 and this one is 3.5. And then we make a revolt cut with this axis. Fillet 0.25. Fillet R1 uh, here. And we can make chamfer here. 0 0.5 for example or 1 1 ok so that's the screw done now let's see how it's gonna fit our wheel so we're gonna make assembly I'm not sure is this wheel from the tutorial or, or it's my wheel but it's the same model like as you can see let's put the screw in and I'm gonna rotate it come on uh -huh. okay so we need it like this of course this and this face are gonna have concentric relation and how are we yeah we can add this edge and this edge to be coincident now when I said you are going to decide about the length of the screw is because you want to choose for yourself what you like do you want this screw here to be longer so let's say open it let's say we make it now from 60 let's make it 40 continue okay we have to do it let me see how we can actually easily edit this screw we made so the only thing bothering us here is is this bossic strut here so okay so let's say you want it 40 so this part is not gonna be shorter but you also have to adjust this bossic strut to move it slightly so move it here by making this uh, let's say 5 and that's it now let's see how it's gonna look like in the assembly yes you see now it's quite shorter and it's not visible from this side now when I talked about this second feature let's open again this one let's say you want this to be longer 30 for example yes this is giving the wheel totally different look so it's all depending dimensions are only depending on what you like and this is meant to be for rendering so that's why I'm talking about this dimensions let's make of course circular pattern components to pattern this one instances to skip this is the edge or the face number six or five five and click OK you see how the wheel is now looking with longer screws it's not that bad actually it's it's cool yeah I, I would do it like this on my wheels but like I said if you want smaller you make this section smaller 10 for example no that's too much that's too small 15 would be the minimum if I if you ask me <coughs> let's get back so yeah that's now 
totally different and this is also looking cool whatever you do with this with this wheel it's gonna look cool so the next thing next thing is to save this assembly I'm gonna call it in my language assembly and the next thing to do is the wheel cap so let's proceed with that so like I said the second part of the video is gonna be the wheel cap so I'll make a new part for it we're gonna start off with a front plane sketch make a cycle diameter is gonna be 60 and let's extract this by 5 uh, wheel cap center cap however it's called and we also need one diameter here so sketch uh, cycle and it's going to be just let me check 55 okay and of course six shot by five we can merge result here let's save and go to chamfer we need chamfer by one on this front edge it's actually gonna be 0 0.75 sorry about this 0 0.75 and here we need one sketch so, so we're gonna cut diameter of 43.5 by 1 and here we need chamfer of 1 by 45 degrees okay let's see what's next we're gonna here uh, draw one diameter for the text of Vossen so I missed the mid the origin okay make this for construction and diameter of cycle is gonna be 48.25 now pay attention here we want to select the diameter again and go to text and I'm gonna type in first the 18 uh, how it's called 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 and I'm gonna type in OSEN and go deselect use document fonts so here I have downloaded some fonts from the from the internet it's called future forces A B C D E F here it is stop you stupid Okay, come on. I missed it again. So, future forces. You can find this. I think it's something like free font, and you can find it on internet. It's easily to find it and easily easy to install. So, make sure you install it before you make this sketch. And it's gonna be expanded bold style points. 14 okay it's gonna be on this side it's gonna be middle alignment hmm. and yeah that's it so these are all the all of the inputs you needed and we could actually put another this how it's called Rasmac this empty space and that's it click OK exit the sketch and cut this by 0 0.5 and let's draw another sketch diameter now is gonna be 54.5 
make sure it's for construction and here we are typing the text called precision series precision precision series series okay and before this text we need 45 <laughs> empty spots so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 20 30 40 1 2 3 4 5 and alignment of the text is gonna be middle I think it should be something like this use document fonts go to the fonts and let's find bank gothic this one and we need 10 points okay so looks like yeah we need here in percentage also we need 90 and here we're gonna leave at 100 and that's perfect so click OK exit the sketch and extract it cut 0.5 so let's edit this first sketch. Actually, I forgot something. I've typed in uh, like another empty spot, but it wasn't it wasn't needed because we need to edit this thing here. It's gonna be 115, and here we have 100. So that's now perfect. And what's next? We need on this face two center lines going like this angle between 47.5 and we need three cycles so one two three make them all for construction the diameter of smallest is gonna be 49 bigger one bigger is gonna be 53.25 and this biggest 55.5 now for some reason I haven't placed this one in the middle so let's make it in the middle and here we need just a few lines going like this when I miss the first I have to delete it and start over again it's so boring now let's make sure that this point and the center line are coincident and also make sure that this point and this uh, first uh, cycle is also coincident now this line and this one are gonna be parallel and this one and this one are gonna be parallel distance between this line and the center line is gonna be 265 and same here that's the sketch done we can get out and do extra cut it's gonna be thin feature of course and the this value of thickness is gonna be 1.425 and we don't need this direction too we just need 0 0.5 now in this one direction select mid plane and that's it make sure this is 0 0.5 I hope it's looking like similar enough. I think it's fine, yeah. Okay, so that's the text uh, done. Now we're gonna do the middle thing here. So we start off with one sketch that is looking like this one, two, three, four, five, and let's also 
add one center line make sure the center line is coincident with the origin so this point is gonna be midpoints with this line and this point is gonna be coincident with, with the center line the length of this line is 26.5 this one is gonna be 12.5 and we have from origin till this line we have 8 and now from <coughs> from origin to till this point we have 13.5 so that's it something is oh yeah this point should also be uh, horizontal with this one so it's symmetric and that's it, that is the sketch, we're gonna cut this inside by 2 ok, now we need sketch on this face and while this face is selected selected use offset entities 0 0.1 reverse to the insides and that's another sketch done, do the extract of 1.5 now do not merge result, we, we want this as a separated body click OK and save why the fuck is this coming up again? stay there ok let's see what's next we need to cut this one so make a sketch a sketch and we are going to select the face convert enti entities and trim the bot the top line offset this uh, chain so select chain and offset this by 5 to the inside make sure these are now for construction and yeah five now let's drag this point down and drag this point down we need this line to be from the this point to be from the origin by three and same on this side so make these two points horizontal okay exit the sketch again this is gonna be thin features so uh, deselect direction 2 and the direction 2 sorry and use here mid plane the, the thickness is going to be I'm not sure like 2 I have to check this dimension later so let's make it 2 at the moment and it's gonna go inside okay it's 2.5 actually and it's gonna go inside by 0 0.75 and only cut here in feature scope this by okay we need a few fillets so 0 0.25 for these okay I can't have the selection tool so it's these four corners fillet R1 here and let's see what what else now let's hide this body we need fillet radius 1 again for this edge and this one fillet air 1.35 for these two fillet of 1.1 uh, .1 for this edge now chamfer of 0 0.225 angle of 60 for this 
chain of edges here. So this is how it should look like. Uh, let's see flip direction. Yeah, so make sure it's looking like this, not like this. Okay. Another chamfer we have um, 0 0.3 angle 70 this time it's this outside edge and this is also how it should look like so it's going in on this face not like this to, to down face okay let's make this body uh, red and this <coughs> sorry this cutting should be white and these few fillets and I think maybe this chamfer as well should be white no that should be red okay that's it and let's bring back the body this one we have something else to do now this solid body should be something like metal steel or something Let's use silver, polished silver, okay. And yeah, let's just finish these fillets. I'm gonna hide this body. Fillets radius 1 for this one and this one. 135 for this one and this one. And 1.1 for this edge here. The only thing left is the chamfer. Uh, one, the angle is 45, and it's of course this chain of edges. Now let's bring back the other body. So, yeah, you can see it's looking perfect, and we can put this in the assembly. open assembly that we did on the beginning of the video and just put inside this wheel cap so it's gonna be concentric this this face and this one concentric relation and I think that this face is gonna be coincidence with this one. That's how it goes. So I hope you made it till the end of this tutorial. This, lo this is looking like unbelievable to me. I can't believe how cute this this design is this this wheel is just awesome i hope you're gonna find this useful in your design your rendering or something like that i hope you learned something more about the solid works how you can use some surfacing uh, features to help you model the solid bodies and yeah that was everything for today like i said for this text here uh, text here you need future forces uh, logo so if you can't find it just mail me on the on my facebook page or leave leave comment on youtube so i can like send you the logo i think i still have it and yeah that was everything for this video and yeah if i upload something else soon that's probably gonna be some product design uh, tutorial so you can expect something like that maybe something like electronic products if it happens if not we will see something else that was everything for today and see ya